it's mystery box day. So this entire deal right here is four very heavy boxes. Scott guy set up the deal. I have no idea what's inside of all four of these. These ones over here are all from different viewers to the PO box. And let me tell you, <laughs> this is a lot of packages. We usually go to the PO box about once a week. And all of these are from before we advertise the fact that we do have a buy list. Uh, and I got a feeling it's going to get even crazier. So continue to stick around for these unboxings. Um, basically what happens is we have a buy list that people check. If they have stuff on it, they send it off to us. We get it. We verify. A lot of the times, like it takes them a long time to ship. I forget what's happening, what what is in these packages. So it's like Christmas every time we unbox them. Um, we're going to start with this little guy. <clears throat> and we're just going to end with those four. But I think every package in this side is all, like each package is from one separate person. This one's from Jeff and... He just sent a good old Mario Kart. So that's a bundler. I paid 25 for it complete. I get a lot of those because I think that's very a very fair rate to pay. And I get them because I bundle them with Wii systems on Amazon. So the black Wii or the white Wii can be bundled with the Mario Kart game and the uh, wheel, which we stock all the bundlers and stuff over there. That's how we sell them on Amazon. We're able to get more than the average eBay seller with how we sell systems on Amazon. So bundlers and things like that. You can just pay more than the average average Joe. Okay, this must be a whatnot purchase of Pokemon cards. $62 and $21. So two cards. These are probably going to build some of my sets for the Pokemon Pursuit on the main channel. Oh, yes. Okay, so I must have paid... $61 for the first edition Meganium from Neo Genesis. And this thing is near mint. I could get a nine on PSA, depending on uh, how the hollow looks. $61 is a strong buy. That's probably worth 80 to 100 in that condition. Raw and more graded, I think. Kingler, uh, 21 bucks. That's also probably lightly played to near mint. And that is from Expedition. So two great hollows there. I've been uh, hanging out and on whatnot a little bit, looking at looking at Pokemon cards, seeing if I can get some deals. Smaller box here. But it has a little bit of weight to it, for sure. Okay, threw in a few extras. I was like, what are these? This is from Dave. And uh, we got some, some Star Wars. These must be the extras. Oh man, okay. Pokemon. Good box and hollows. First editions. What did I buy? <laughs> right now I I cannot remember what this is. Good night. Um Just a bunch of vintage Pokemon cards. That sounds like me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, doesn't that sound like you? Then there's modern here. Um, these ones are the sleeved up ones, but they seem to okay. So I think these were from um, Dave on Instagram, and I th I think it was just like he didn't really know what he had for Pokemon cards. And sent a bunch of pictures, and I said, well, most of it's not really anything, but you do have some vintage stuff there. So there's stuff from Gym Heroes, stuff from Wizards of the Coast sets. I, I think I said I could pay like 40 or so bucks just to build my set. So I think it's mostly commons and uncommons. That being said, I can definitely use them, and I'll be able to apply them towards some of the Pokemon sets that I'm building. So hopefully it's a win-win deal, because that stuff is hard to sell, especially if you don't know about Pokemon cards. But in my case, I love Pokemon cards and Pokemon games. <clears throat> what? That's a Pokemon poster? Who's this from? Can we just send that to you? Oh, this is from Scott. Is this is from Tadded? Maybe that's from. No, not from oh. Tadded. So Scott's been emailing me. Twist, 
twisted. Okay. This poster is from um, 2016, but I think it's gonna have, it looks like it'll have the original 151 on it. You can see it's numbered them for Pokemon. That could be pretty sick to hang okay. up in the Pokemon room, which we do not have yet at this moment of recording. Hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, we'll be over there in real time because it's like a week or two away, two weeks away, optimistically. That's cool. I don't even know if that's a throw-in or what, but uh, I have another one from Scott. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this out. So, um... <laughs> A key to every package you send me is to leave a note in the package. Have we had a note? I don't think we've had, we had a note in those two. Uh, um, reminder. <laughs> it makes it easier. I'll be able to find it. I have a whole spreadsheet of incoming deals, but uh, now that we've got, advertised the buy list, we definitely have more people sending us stuff. So definitely leave a note like this. Shout out to Cody. Leaving a note. <laughs> It's okay if you didn't. Sometimes, sometimes you just forget. Um, yes, this is from Cody, who reached out on Facebook. Says there's a PSVR kit, and I, I, I do remember saying like I don't really want it, but I'll pay this type of thing. And I think I got a good deal on it because he didn't want it either. Um, <clears throat> and then we got New Super Mario Bros. Mario Kart. So those are on my buy list. There's three Xbox One Connects, probably at least we got one in there. And then a couple down there. Yeah, there's one. There's more cords for the VR. Oh, there's two connects here. So three connects, PSVR. Um, and the total for everything is $260. That includes the bundlers. So I'm paying $220 for the PSVR cat, three Xbox Ones, a teal Game Boy Color, a red and black DSi, and a Mario DS with no charger. So I guess there's a few handhelds in here too. Yep, there's the Game Boy. So Teal Game Boy. I remember these just all had pretty pretty heavy wear. We'll take some repairs on our end. So kind of just had to make an offer on the fly because we like to have things in very good condition. There's one of the DS's inside of there. And then there's one more handheld over there. So the Mario DS. $260, not bad for all this stuff. Um, definitely a strong strong buy price, but it's going to take a good bit of work to get it processed. But this one will be really simple because Cody left a note with the PayPal. We'll test it, verify things, and I'll send the payment off. We've got another box. I guess this is a lot of stuff. We still haven't got to the, to the biggest purchase, which is the biggest mystery as well. This one's heavy. I feel like this one's going to have wheeze. That's the number one thing people send us. So the prices I'm paying for GameCubes, N64s, PS2s, stuff like that are all pretty competitive. So check out the buy list um, if you're somebody that has some stuff laying around, wants to send us some stuff. Freebie! That's what I like to see. Thanks for the note. Name is Chase. Shout out to Chase. Message on Instagram. Left the PayPal email. Inside of here, we have two Wii Wheels, one Mario Kart Wii, one Wii Sports, one Wii Sports Resort, um, and three Wii systems with all cords and controllers needed. It's a classic, classic bundlers get up with three Wii systems. Uh, we do have a video out on this channel for exactly how we send out our Wii systems to Amazon FBA, the, the bundlers that we use. Check that out if you want to look at it in detail, if you're interested in selling on Amazon FBA. Also have a video on selling on Amazon FBA for beginners. So just put that one out not too, not too long ago. But I think these are from a Discord member. Sky Guy worked out the deal. As far as I know, yep, yep, indeed. It is, it is who we thought it, it was. Um, all right. Wii Sports, Wii Sports, four Wii Sports, ooh, look at this one, Harry Potter, Sorcerer's Stone, with two Mario, or Super Mario Sunshine and Mario Party 7, those discs are in terrible condition, um, hopefully we can bring them back to life, but GameCube games are pretty tough, 
The Sorcerer's Stone, on the other hand, is nice. That's the nice one, right? That is big bolo. Look out for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on all three systems, Xbox, PS2, and GameCube. More value in that order. Is that because that's the last one? I don't know. I think... Is it the last it, one? I don't even know. That's the first movie, so I would oh, imagine it? it was the first game. Oh, that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I'm a Harry Potter fan. Your guess was good, though, because a lot of times the later release games are worth money. This one... I don't know why. Maybe it's the best of the games. Really hard to say. Donkey Konga 2. <clears throat> Can't complain there. Looks like we got some cables. We got a Wii U in here. With the gamepad, we got a GameCube controller. Uh, PS Remote. PS5 controller. Why not? Um, PlayStation with some yellowing. There you go. That's a start. Uh, let's see what's in this one. Hit that like button if you're still hanging with us. Um, and again, check out my buy list. Uh, put put in the comments down below videos you would like to see on this channel. So we're, we're pretty flexible. We're trying to make videos that people want to see. Um, you guys are kind of the, the smaller people that hang out with us on a deeper level. So we want to serve you as best we can. If there's things that you're really hoping we do and enough people say it, we want to make those videos. So comment down below what you want to see next. This is a lot of controllers. <laughs> Bagged up. Man, it's almost a shame we're going to have to unbag these because we do have to make sure they work on our end too. Um, good night. We got systems for days. 360, uh, NES, two NESs. Buried down there. I assume there's more on this side. Oh, yes. That's a GameCube. GameCube nice. with Game Boy Player. And then another another GameCube. Can you get it? It's down there forever, but it also has the Game Boy Player. So, what, five systems in there? A bunch of controllers. Nice. Not bad. This is adding up to be a pretty expensive shipment here. So, we'll see what the total ends up being. <clears throat> All right. Another Donkey Kong. We got one and two now. Complete. PS5 remote. Kind of strange getting these. You mean controller? <laughs> controller, yeah. <laughs> From how, how old am I? Nimbus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Steel Series that has a little bit of value. We got two Game Cubes right here. Nice. Those, those are pretty clean. Black yeah. Game Cubes. The controllers, man. We will have to check the message because um, it is a Discord member, which um, usually means there's an added level of trust on my end, and. Um, these controllers are bagged just the way that we do them, if they're cleaned and tested. So we'll have to see if that's what it meant in their case. We'll have to look at them real close. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, helpful. if you save us time on testing, we love you. Yeah. <laughs> so we might we might love you. Uh, there's an N64 expansion. Regular jumper pack. So that one still needs a little bit of cleaning. N64s almost always work. It is harder to find one that doesn't work than one that does. This is like an Xbox um, Xbox One X. Another good one. Too bad we don't have the Xbox One X box. Just the system. <laughs> That's just... Uh... Good job, Microsoft. They're almost as good as Nintendo with the new 3DS XL. Used. <laughs> I remember a game store trying to explain that to a, a mom trying to buy one for her her son. She's like, he said he wanted a new 3DS XL. And they showed it to her. She's like, but that's not new. I'm like, no, it's it's called <laughs> it's called a new 3DS XL and it's used. Very confusing. But yeah, that has some good value if it works. That being said, I do not like testing those because they have a lot of updates and things that they need usually. Hopefully it works. Last box of the day. And then we got to get to uh, verifying the contents of everything. 
This is the heaviest one. Though. Zappers for days. Nunchucks. Those definitely haven't been cleaned. Um, what's in here? We always need those. Wii cords and Wii remotes. Let's see. We got a bunch of Wiis here. That's what makes it heavy. One, two, three, four, five Wiis right there. And then this is the 360 Elite in the box. Well, that's it for this unboxing. Again, let me know what videos you want to see us do over here on the Caterpie Crew. We run a business. We sell video games. And I like to talk about it. I like to meet people that do the same thing. Um, and this is the channel where, you know, we can do the more uh, selling side, the business side type videos. So give us some ideas. We'd love to make them for you guys. Until next time, Bartle Do, Crap Mo Stank, Maliki the Sticky.